welcome back to my channel it's me Kagem okay so as you can see in today's video we're talking about Gucci Gucci has some issues has some drama but fundamentally I like this brand I think they're cool and I love I love it actually I can't I can't lie and I don't care about what people say I know so many people hate like logos and like things to be discreet I'm not like that <laughs> okay Gucci's not like that and I, that's what, something I really appreciate about this brand. So please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. And then at the end of the video, I will show you what my husband got me for reaching more than 500 subs. Some of you did ask me, you were like, hey, again, you did say that your husband got you a gift. Um, yes, he did. So I'll show you that at the end of the video. Okay, guys, before we talk about what's going on in the world of Gucci, I just really quickly want to show you guys a few things at Gucci that I've been loving at the moment. I actually was like on Gucci's website last week. I'm like, what am I buying from Gucci this month and next month? And there's so many cute pieces. Um, first of all, let me just start with my love exotic handbags. I know they're not for everyone. Um, if they're not your thing, please bear with me. I love them though. There's this absolutely gorgeous Dionysus Python super mini bag so cute it comes in this like pastel pink i love this i think it's really cool and it is obviously python they're saying here this style is still in production your estimated delivery date is xyz um and then they say they say payment occurs at the time of shipment that's so cool i love it it's pastel pink i think it's absolutely adorable they're also these sunglasses that i am obsessed with as well i think i've talked about them before i love them i think gucci make fantastic sunglasses i don't know if i'm successful to show these earrings if i am i'll put i'll put them on the screen but there's some crystal earrings that i also really like from gucci i'm genuinely a fan of the dionysus in the original um Gucci prints. I love, I just love the Dionysus bag. I think it's such a great bag. And I think it was so clever of them to make those minis because they're so popular right now. There are a few unboxings of the Dionysus that to me, I was like, oh my gosh. And my cousin actually has the Dionysus, but um, the much larger one. And when I saw the minis, I was like, ooh, okay, the minis are really pulling me in. I'm absolutely loving them as well. But Gucci have so many things on their website that they make that are really, really great. Um, ironically, at the moment, they are struggling like compared to other brands. So I wanted to talk about that in this video and I want to get your opinion. You can also give me your opinion, like tell me why do you think Gucci's having a bit of a tough time at the moment? What do you think is going on in the world of Gucci? And yeah, just give me your opinion. As usual, I love hearing your comments. Um, so please make sure that you comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I need to know what you think. Let's get into it. What is going on in the house of Gucci? Yeah, you see what I did there? Because we know the movie's coming out at the end of the year as well with Lady Gaga and Adam Driver. Well, I think a lot of stuff is going on. I've linked the article to the FT below so you can read all the financial business stuff. I want to touch on a few things that they talked about. Um, basically, the FT says that there are two reasons why Gucci is struggling financially. Their sales have gone down by like 10%. Things are shrinking over there a little bit. So the first reason is they have drastically decreased their wholesale distribution. So basically they've decreased the amounts of department stores through which they sell their products. Now, whether people want to admit it or not, department stores are still a very important um, source of revenue for designers. Cause let's be honest, I'm sorry, but most of us who have full-time jobs, okay, like you work full time. Do you have all day to sit and read W magazine? I love that magazine. Okay. I love bizarre. I love W, but do you have the whole day to sit and read it, to sit on the website and go through every single picture of, you know, the Chanel show. Not everyone has that luxury to do that all the time. The beauty of department stores and the whole point of a department store back in the day was that women would come see new stock that's available, see the new things that they can buy. Oh, Martin, by the way, there's this new designer called Marcus Luffer or Mark Fast. He makes these really cool knitwear designs. Maybe you'd like to see it. So I think that was like the power of department stores. I still think that's the power of department stores. I don't care what anyone says. So every department store has its own um, flavor and sense of style. So obviously in the US you have Neiman Marcus, you have Saks, you know, you had Barney's, but I think obviously they've gone bankrupt now. In the US, in Canada, you have Whole Renfrew. In the United Kingdom, obviously you have Selfridges, you have Harrods at the time, obviously Harvey Nicks as well. So I think that what's happening is like Gucci have said, you know what? 
We're gonna decrease our availability in department stores because we want to sell online ourselves. Okay, you can do that, but you're going to lose the people who love going to the department store. And I think actually with the pandemic, what's happened is for those of you who live in places where there are department stores and you've been under lockdowns, people want to go to the stores. People are itching to go shopping and itching to get out. So this is what they said that they did. Another reason that the Financial Times also mentioned, which I think is the bigger reason and the one that I'm more concerned about, is they cut the number of collections to two a year. WWD magazine said that before, Gucci were doing five collections a year. Now they're doing two. You've lost three collections. I know it sounds kind of strange because it's like so, so much of what we're seeing online on Twitter, on social media, is like, oh, fashion's becoming sustainable, fast fashion needs to end, rah, 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 all these things, luxury fashion needs to be sustainable. But honestly, the people who buy things and make a decision at the till are the people who are going to drive change. I do think that this was done for like sustainability reasons, but Alessandro also talked last year about how it felt, what did he say? I think he said stale. He said like the seasons was, you know, it was just becoming stale and he wanted to move to this world where you have seasonless clothing and seasonless products that can move from month to month and season to season. It's an interesting concept, but I'm just talking about the money here, okay? You know, on this channel, we love shopping. I talk about shopping. I love shopping, but I also like to understand the business strategy. I don't really think this makes sense from a business point of view. If this was like, um, I'm trying to think of a brand. I mean, I don't know. I feel like if Gucci was like a smaller brand, this would make sense. Kering owns Gucci. Kering also owns YSL, also owns Balenciaga. I think it still also owns Alexander McQueen. I could be wrong. I think a smaller brand like Balenciaga, this would work quite well because you have less collections, but you still have that like cult following. Gucci is not a cult brand. It is a billion dollar enterprise. Gucci as a standalone brand within Kering is responsible for almost 50% of the revenues of the entire holding group. So when Gucci's struggling, people at Kering are like, alarm bells are ringing off in their head, like, oh my God. Normally, and a lot of when this happens, people blame the designer. Alessandro is not to blame, because I think he has definitely like, like breathed new life into the brand. Um, it's still very folksy, that folksy, folksy look. The FD says it's vintage style or vintage inspired. I would say it's more like folksy, it's very hippie-ish, which is cool. And I actually kind of dig with that, I vibe with it. Um, but I just feel like we won't get to know the brand that much because they're just not producing enough clothing, accessories, bags per year, you know? Obviously, these are European brands, so they go towards European seasons. You know, in my country, it's hot all year round, but there is a winter period um, for the country, in my country, Tanzania. And my husband is actually from the area where Mount Kilimanjaro is. It's freezing over there and people wear jumpers, okay? So some of these winter clothes, if someone is like living near Kilimanjaro and they have a safari company or a, a mountaineering company, they would absolutely be wearing some autumn, winter Gucci clothes if they wanted to. I think the problem is like only doing spring, summer and autumn, winter, you're missing out on people who love cruise. You're missing out on people who love that pre-fall stuff. You're missing out on the pre-collection opportunities um, of spring, summer. One of you kindly let me know that Chanel <laughs> does six collections a year. Six collections. I know that a lot of us were like, oh my God, Chanel is making too much stuff. They're making too many bags. They're just doing way too much. They're doing it because people want it. The demand is there and people want this from these brands. I just think two is not enough. I am not surprised that they're struggling. Two isn't enough, you guys. I mean, what do you think? I'd love to know what you guys think, but I don't think that two collections a year is enough. Um, I personally love cruise collections. I think that they're just so great. They're super, super, I don't know. I, I love them. I think I love them as well because I like the fact that they look so fresh and maybe because of the tropical um, weather that I live in here in Dar es Salaam, anytime I see cruise collections, they look very wearable for me in my country. So I, I relate more with cruise collections than I do with other collections like autumn, winter, for example. 
So I, I think that was a mistake, honestly. Um, the sales have gone down because of C19. The FT says, yeah, but how come LV is still making money? How come Chanel are making it hay? How come MS are making it hay? Well, I think LV, first of all, produces so much. I know that Gucci have like their collaborations, like they did one with the North Face. Um, I don't know if that's enough. I think that's kind of like the street wearification of Gucci. And don't get me wrong, I have nothing against street wear. Um, I actually really like the, um, that brand, The Fear of God. I'm really digging a lot of what they're doing. But I just don't think that is like the ultimate direction for the brand. Um, I think Alessandro is definitely the best person that Gucci has had so far. I think he's the right person for the brand. But I would like to see more glamour from them this like as the ft calls it the vintage look this folksy look yeah okay we've been doing it now for a few years but i want to see more glamour gucci even the, the the house of gucci itself like the gucci brand even before tom ford and all the rest of it was a sexy glossy brand and i think that we need to kind of infuse that a bit more in the collection because i do think that there are a lot of people who are looking for clothing or bags for evening wear for parties particularly now in different parts of the world c19 is affecting things differently but there will be a time god willing very soon where c19 will end does everyone want to look like a folksy hippie person from the 1970s wearing gucci i don't know and don't get me wrong i don't have anything against it because some of the stuff looks really cool but i did have a friend tell me something which i couldn't get out of my head i sent her something from the gucci website I was like oh my god babe i'm gonna buy this and she was like why do all of these models look like they have been printed into wallpaper <laughs> She meant that all of the models on the Gucci site, they do look very artistic and very hippie-ish and very folk folksy. And it does have this like 1970s wallflower, like wallpaper vibe, the website design anyway. So, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Where would you like to see Gucci going? I personally think Alessandro is the right person for the job. Um, I love what he's doing at the brand. I just don't like the business decisions that they have made. Two collections a year isn't enough. And before any of you start and say, oh, you know, we should be minimalist, blah, blah, blah. Minimalism is really important. Are any luxury minimalists buying Gucci? Yes or no? Answer the question. If you're not buying Gucci, you cannot say that Gucci should be a minimalist brand. If you are, that's fine. But if Gucci is not in your top five or top 10 of brands to buy in the next three, four months, I think Gucci should be proud of its like super glamorous logo mania heritage. And I think it should keep that folksy sexiness that Alessandro has created for the brand. But also we need to see more feminine looks, some glossier looks. I, I just, that is just kind of like what I'm thinking. But in terms of the accessories, the sunglasses are beautiful. The fashion jewelry is really nice. I love the exotics. I think they're great. I didn't actually know they were that good. Um, some of them are actually even way better than LV's exotics. And LV make beautiful, stunning exotics. So I'm definitely liking them. I love the Dionysus. I actually would like to see more of a focus on Gucci's traditional horse bit and the Dionysus. I actually think those traditional prints are just so great. And obviously the perfumes are, are beautiful and amazing. Guilty is such a great perfume. So. I think there's so much that the brand has going for itself. Let's see how they do this year. So anyway, if you guys have experiences with Gucci, thoughts about Gucci, please let me know in the comments. I love Guilty. I, I don't know, when I was in the UK, I don't know how many times I purchased that perfume. Um, I do, obviously I said my cousin, she's bought the Dionysus. She loved that bag as well. I have a friend who also bought the tights, you know, the Gucci tights that was so hot a few years ago. And all of them have great things to say about Gucci's quality of products. So the issue is not even quality. The products are great. The problem is they're not making enough products in different styles for different seasons. I get what Alessandro's trying to do. I just don't think it's going to work for women's fashion. I feel like if this was like a, a brand that's just for men, like Tom Brown, for example, the American uh, fashion designer predominantly does menswear. I feel like a seasonless thing could work for women, but 
women need looks okay we need looks we need we have seasons we have months we need to look slamming all of the time i don't know if two collections is enough for that okay guys make sure you keep watching i'm gonna show you what i got for my husband my husband got me a card holder which basically actually has a two-in-one function on the one hand, I can use it for um, my bank card, so my credit card, my debit card, my ID, and I can also use it as a business card holder. So I just wanted to show you guys. So this is how it looks at the front. This is how it looks like at the back. This is my celebratory gift <laughs> for um, getting more than 500 subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't already, please make sure that you do. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks. This is pure leather, by the way. This is leather. It's not um, anything but leather. So you told me it's leather. So now I'm going to show you how it looks like inside. Okay, guys. So obviously this was like a closed hair like that. So I have opened it and then there's like a little flap there. So pretty. And inside it, it's funny. I think on the camera, it's looking kind of like a, like a sort of light, like um, caramel, caramelly, caramelly kind of like color but it in real life it has more of like an orangey tone in it so it has this um exterior i don't know if this is suede it definitely feels quite suedey but definitely all of this here is leather the exterior so pretty look at that <laughs> it's so pretty i bet you when i opened it you didn't think that the interior would be that color i love it when brands do that this isn't from a brand i think this is just made by an artisan um, it doesn't have a brand label or a stamp or anything like that. But yeah, just to show you guys super quickly. So that's the back. That's how it looks like if obviously this would be tucked in there. It's the front. And then the inside is here like that. So yeah, this is the gift from my husband. So thank you, darling. I really said thank you. I really appreciated it. And this is actually really cool because just like fitting it back in there, that's how it looks like that. I'm really actually glad that I got one of these because um, I've always been like, um, I, I've always been like a wallet girl. I've always been that person that loves like a beautiful big wallet. But sometimes like maybe you're going out with some mates or you don't want to carry tons of cash with you, even though I'm definitely someone who prefers like going to the ATM and withdrawing cash and just having it in my hand. But I actually love this because like if i have like an evening bag like for, i don't know if the i don't know if the chanel i feel like this this would absolutely fit, fit into a wallet on a chain like the chanel 19 walks i'm digging those at the moment i've been looking at them over and over again this week really really enjoying them this would absolutely fit into a walk and that is what i like about this because this can go into any small bag even an evening bag if i'm going out with friends or going to the casino i can just have like my debit card in here and i can put like my keys in a tiny little evening bag and then i'm gucci i'm good to go see what i did there I'm gucci <laughs> So yeah, tell me what you guys think about this and what do you think about the gift? I would love to know your general comments about Gucci and what's going on with them. I like them. I vibe with them. I like that brand. Um, and I'm not saying like, oh, because people aren't vibing with them right now, I like them. I do like them. I think that they're, they're being slept on at the moment. I'd love to know what you guys think. Please make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell because on Saturday, I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners in my video. And I'll also be posting you um, on Instagram. So if you're taking part in the giveaway, please make sure that if you are the winner, make sure that you follow the instructions I'm going to give you because whoever wins, I will contact you straight away on Saturday um, to furnish you with the ASOS um, gift card voucher, obviously. And I can't wait to actually do this. It's going to be quite exciting. I can see a few of you have been following me on Instagram. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on Saturday in my next video.